Hi there. Today, I want to show you a little bit of something that I teach my exclusive small group that I've been talking about a lot. If you didn't know this, I have this fantastic new exclusive small group and they get a fully modified workout every single day for 30 minutes and we're doing that for six weeks and then people that are using it can review and go back and do it as many times as they need to or pick and choose the different workouts that they need and it is fitness and therapy and my special techniques all rolled into one at the same time we're working on healthy eating habits and relearning portions for ourselves so if that is what you need you need this group you totally need this group i think it's the greatest thing to be able to offer people and so excited about it so if you're curious you just comment wherever you're watching this or send me a note, you know where to find me. I'm Carrie Fit Everywhere, or my website, or whatever. And let's get you started. Like, don't wait until your injury gets worse or until your health gets worse to do something about it and get better today. So today, I wanna to show you a little something that I teach differently from other teachers that I think makes a really big difference if, if you're struggling in the center of your body. So if you know me, then you know that I work with core injury. So I work a lot with diastasis recti. I work with the entire core area to make, to help people find stability in that area so that it is healed and pain free and helps the rest of the body as well. Because we're really only as strong as our center and we're really only going to feel as healthy and pain free as our center. Super important to me. I think it's important to you. So we're going to actually do some things from the sideline series today and I'll show you why mine is different. So if you'll just go from sitting to lying on your side and see what happens. Okay, so most people when they go to their side, they go to here or there. And look what happens to the middle of my body when I go there. So am I lining my spine up beautifully? Am I engaged here and lifted and core controlled? And what's happening here in my neck and how is that gonna impact down here in my lower spine? Even if I have people come way up here, my intention is a straight spine, but what do people tend to do? They tend to go here. And guys, we're not at the beach today. We're not lounging in lounge chairs. We're here to get some work done, right? So what I have people do is come all the way down, tuck this shoulder underneath so the shoulder is over shoulder, and then head is on the bicep. For some people, they need to do this, depending on the flexibility of their shoulder, or have a rolled towel here for a little more support for the neck. So we wanna have shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip, knee over knee, and foot over foot. If suddenly one leg just got longer than the other or your knees are uneven, it's a hip issue and you're gonna wanna make sure that they're stacked one over the other, not like that to where they're out of balance. So as you stack those hips up, the other thing I want you to notice is that my side body starts to lift. So I want you to pretend like you're wearing a corset all the way around your body and that is gonna cause this lift out of the floor. Now it doesn't mean that you're gonna see this space like mine, but it means that you should feel this lift and engagement all the way around the center of your body. That's how we know that we're gonna be able to get some work done here. The other thing I want you to do is to tuck your tailbone under you until you feel the front body scoop up and in. So it's like you're lifting that navel, scooping it up and under while you're lengthening the lower back. So now we've got lower abdominals engaged, obliques engaged, rectus abdominis nice and flat across the front, and then we can get some core work done. So what looks like now some hip work, which it is, it's fantastic for your hips, is also going to be helpful for the center of your body, core engagement and stability. Take this hand and put it right here in front of you. This is just for support, and make sure that you don't start creeping up here. Get that shoulder down and back in the shoulder girdle. I want you to take that top leg, I want you to lift it and straighten it, and flex your foot out with your big toe pointing forward. Now make sure that you're still scooped up right here. Notice what happens when we kick forward and back. So kick to the front and exhale, and then kick to the back and inhale. 
Kick to the front and exhale. Kick to the back and inhale. Now, if you're new to this exercise, I want you to notice what happens to your torso and your shoulders when you are moving this long lever around from front to back. Because the likelihood is that your tendency is to want to roll forward when your leg goes back and vice versa. Because we're compensating for a long lever. So the core engagement purpose is to not move the torso, just the hip. This leg on the ground is going to be your anchor. This hand on the ground is going to be your anchor. And you are really pulling this together to keep your body from rocking forward and back. Make sense? So you can do all kinds of things with that long lever movement on both sides to challenge your balance from a sideline position that will make a difference not only in your hip and booty strength, but in the center of your body. What do I like? I like efficiency. If you're going to get in there and get your workout in, it should be efficient. It should be working the body appropriately. We should not have to spend a whole lot of time, just a lot of focus and energy to get everything to work together as one body. Make sense? If this interests you, and this kind of work interests you, then you need to be working with me. So, again, leave me a comment here, or find me wherever you're looking at this. My name is Carrie Fit on Instagram, on Facebook, on the web, wherever. And you just let me know that you're ready. Because if you wait another day, that's another day that you're not moving in the direction to better health. I'll see you there.